Have you ever wondered how Jesus Christ, a man born in the Middle East, is often depicted with European features in Western art? This intriguing question has puzzled historians and theologians alike. Western art has a long history of portraying Jesus Christ with blue eyes, fair skin, and flowing brown hair. Yet considering the geographical and historical context of his birth, this depiction seems inconsistent. After all, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, a city located in present-day West Bank, to Jewish parents. This suggests a more Middle Eastern African appearance, quite different from the Europeanized image we often see. Now imagine this. Deep within Russia's vaults, there lies a treasure that challenges these traditional Western depictions. These vaults hold the possibility of a different portrayal, one that might just bring us closer to the true image of Jesus Christ, as understood by his contemporaries. Now let's delve deeper into the mystery hidden in the Russian vaults. Hidden away from public view for decades, the Russian vaults have been a subject of intrigue and speculation. These vaults, deep within the heart of Russia, are not just ordinary storage spaces. They are repositories of a glorious past, a treasure trove of artifacts, and a testament to the country's rich and diverse history. Housed within these vaults are countless pieces of art, literature, and historical documents, each with their own unique story to tell. From ancient manuscripts to priceless works of art, the Russian vaults are a historian's dream and a symbol of historical preservation. The sheer magnitude of the items stored there, their diversity, and the historical significance attached to them have always made these vaults a subject of great interest and curiosity. Yet, for the longest time, the contents of these vaults remained a mystery, hidden away from the world. Access was restricted, and the treasures they held were kept under lock and key. This shroud of secrecy only fueled speculation and heightened the anticipation surrounding the vaults. But then came the landmark decision to open the vaults to the public. This was not a decision taken lightly. It was the result of years of deliberation, a testament to the changing times, and a nod towards transparency. The world waited with bated breath as preparations were made for the unveiling. The anticipation was palpable, the excitement almost tangible. What would the vaults reveal? Would they confirm long-held theories or debunk them? Would they shed light on forgotten chapters of history or raise new questions? The possibilities were endless, and the world could only speculate. As the vaults opened, an unexpected depiction of Jesus Christ emerged. This was not the Jesus the world was accustomed to seeing. This was a Jesus unlike any other. A Jesus that challenged conventional depictions. A Jesus that was about to stir a global conversation. But that, dear listeners, is a story for another time. As the doors of the vault swung open, a different, more historically accurate representation of Jesus Christ came to light. Housed within the confines of these Russian vaults, a striking portrayal of Jesus Christ as a black man emerged from the shadows, challenging the widely accepted image of a fair-skinned, blue-eyed messiah. This depiction, a stark contrast to the conventional, is not an aberration, but rather a reflection of the ethnographic realities of the time and place where Jesus lived. This black Jesus, represented with a complexion more akin to the people of the Middle East and Africa than to those of Europe, paints a picture of a historical Jesus who was very much a part of the world he inhabited. His features, his skin color, his hair, all bear the mark of a man rooted in the diverse cultures and ethnicities that thrived in the regions around the Mediterranean. The significance of this representation is manifold. For one, it provides a more authentic lens through which we can view early Christian art. This art was not created in a vacuum. It was shaped by the social, political, and cultural milieu of the time. The depiction of Jesus as a black man underscores the diverse influences that shaped early Christian iconography and offers a more nuanced understanding of the world in which Christianity was born. Moreover, this portrayal challenges the Eurocentric narrative that has dominated Christian art for centuries. It reminds us that Christianity, like all religions, is not the exclusive domain of any one race or culture. It is a global faith, reflecting the diversity of its adherents. The black Jesus is more than just an artistic anomaly. He is a testament to the multicultural roots of Christianity, a reminder of the rich tapestry of cultures and ethnicities that have shaped this religion over the centuries. He is a symbol of a faith that transcends racial and cultural boundaries, embracing all of humanity in its fold. But the Black Jesus was not the only revelation the Russian vaults had to offer. Alongside the Black Jesus, another historical revelation was waiting, the Biblical Israelites. As we delve deeper into the treasures hidden within the Russian vaults, we encounter an equally fascinating discovery. The Biblical Israelites, a people central to many religious narratives, are depicted with strikingly different characteristics than traditionally represented. 
These ancient depictions portray the Israelites as black people, a revelation that challenges our long-standing perceptions and invites us to reconsider the narrative. These ancient portraits, preserved in the depths of Russia's vaults, show the Israelites with dark skin, full lips, and curly hair, features commonly associated with people of African descent. This depiction is a far cry from the lighter-skinned, straight-haired images we are accustomed to seeing in modern religious art and media. And what does this mean for our understanding of history and biblical narratives? It implies a more diverse and inclusive historical landscape than previously acknowledged. It suggests that the roots of these important biblical figures might be intertwined with the history of black people, engendering a sense of shared heritage and cultural interconnection that transcends geographical boundaries. This discovery also opens up a broader discussion about the representation of historical figures and the influence of cultural and racial bias in shaping these portrayals. It forces us to question how much of our historical knowledge is based on factual evidence and how much is influenced by the cultural lens through which we view the past. Moreover, this revelation has the potential to influence the way we interpret biblical texts. The depiction of the Israelites as black people could shed new light on biblical stories and provide a fresh perspective on the cultural and historical context of these narratives. These findings do not only challenge our understanding of the past, but also inspire a new curiosity about early Christian art and history. The exploration of these ancient depictions promises a richer, more nuanced understanding of our shared human story. These revelations have sparked a new interest in the study of early Christian art and history. The unveiling of Black Jesus and the Biblical Israelites have stirred conversations and debates around the world. These revelations have profoundly shaken our historical, religious, and cultural narratives, bringing a fresh perspective to the table. The traditional Eurocentric depictions of Biblical figures are giving way to a more diverse and inclusive representation, challenging long-held beliefs and sparking a wave of re-evaluation. Moreover, these discoveries have opened up a world of possibilities for further research and study. Historians, archaeologists, and scholars are now keen to delve deeper, to uncover more truths that might be hidden in the dusty corners of history. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion, each layer revealing a new facet of our collective past. And so, the opening of the Russian vaults has not only unveiled historical treasures, but has also given us a new perspective on our shared history. It's a testament that history, like a river, is always moving, always changing, always surprising us with its depth and complexity.